Do you want Jimmy Fallon's? Oh God, the the, the song he did. The new one about uh, the new COVID. COVID. I, with, do you think he was cringing and and biting his lip and going, "They're making me fucking do this." I think once he broke the barrier of having to apologize to a white lady for oh. doing a Chris Rock impression that Chris Rock was cool with. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he had to sit there and thank her. Oh. Uh, you know how amazing that is. Chris Rock's like, <coughs> I had no problem with it. You know that Jimmy Fallon didn't. Right. It has to get approved by like nine people. The Saturday Night Live, of course. they have a history of being like, okay, is this okay? This amount of blacking up for this. Yeah, character? yeah. And they have meetings with Lloyd. So a bunch of people made that decision, not Jimmy. Yeah. He had a few beers probably. And right. then now he's in trouble and has to take the full hit for all of whatever. And then the greatest part is he's apologizing to some white lady for this. That's amazing. It makes no sense. And it's something that has to be done in, so, in this day and age. A little rap about the new COVID's probably nothing after. Yeah. I could have never looked that chick in the face oh, and thanked her. Look at this. Look at this. There was Alpha, then Delta, then Omicron next. But this latest variant. Reminds me of uh, B-52s. Yeah, he's doing a B-52. Bring your jukebox <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> Another brand of COVID-19 has arrived. It's a new strain. Yeah, he is. It is banned. Insane. That's the roots. Yeah. The Roots has to do that. That's why I feel. I have to play the music to this My God. government propaganda. But why is he even bothering? Red, red wine. Put on your mask when you're inside a facility. It could They're be all maskless singing this. Oh. oh, my God. Now, I was curious. Oh, it's embarrassing. Is it, is it that they got like a directive of a, it's a public service announcement that we're going to be doing? Yeah. Or do you think that's a bit one of his writers really came up with as I, a bit? I think it's a bit. I think... You don't think it's from like a thing of, hey, we, we're getting the... Like Colbert did that awful vax... Oh, the vax thing. He that's, really went out. That's a direct... That's like a government through NBC thing. I mean, I don't mean that sinister. I, I assume that's... Oh, no. Was. I mean, we find out how many government uh, agencies were, were involved with Twitter and you know all the other ones they do. Know, and they, like, I'm sure they do. So, because it's a public health thing, so I'm yeah. sure there's some kind of. <clears throat> so that I'm curious is if if his writing staff is now that truly bad yeah, that they were yeah. like, this will be a great. I don't think. I think it was like an NBC, like, hey, we're, we need to announce. Need to you know, it's like an advisory thing that, that they're a helping. New yeah, strain going. I I don't know. I I like to think that maybe a, a stupid writer saw the name. Well, a stupid writer. Had to go in on had it. To write it. But right. I think it came down for a directive. I'm hoping. I'm hoping hey, for the best do, that it was that, and yeah. not. Does it, could you guys do something on this? If I was Jimmy Fallon. I would drink myself to death after that. I think he is. I think he's trying to. I've heard stories. It's not working. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know shit. <laughs>